Hi, I'm Rachel with Stirring the Deep, and today I'm going to talk about being prepared for Christ's return. And what is that preparation that a believer does for his return? In Ephesians 2.22, it says, In whom you are also being built together for a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. Believers are being prepared to be that temple of God for eternity. Just like in the Old Testament, the temple was built, Solomon built God's temple, and in the Holy of Holies, it was lined with pure gold. In a similar way, that was to be symbolic or to show us as an illustration of what's happening now with believers, because now we're the temple that is being built for God's Spirit. And like that, Holy of Holies was lined with gold, which symbolized purity. Our spirits have to be lined with purity, and purity is truth, the truth of God. And there's sort of a two-step process here. One, Christ died for all men. He died for our sins, right, so that those sins could be forgiven, and that now we can come into God's presence, so that now we can have the Holy Spirit who is going to teach us all things. That Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. And that Holy Spirit, as now He can come into our life and start teaching us. And He's teaching us the truth so that our spirit is lined with truth, thus becoming pure. And that is what prepares us to be able to receive truly the Spirit of God and to be His temple. That's why Paul says we're being built to be the temple of God. We're being prepared. It says in John 17, 17, that the Word is what sanctifies us. So how do we become pure? How do we gain a soul that's lined with gold, so to speak? By abiding in the Word, because it's the Word that sanctifies, and seeking the instruction of the Holy Spirit, because that's the Spirit of truth, and letting that the combination of those two things work in our spirit and our life and mold us and change us and prepare us so that when Christ returns, we're ready to receive him. It's similar to the analogy of the virgins, the 10 virgins in Matthew 25. There were five foolish ones and five wise. The five foolish ones weren't prepared. They didn't have the oil in their lamps. The five wise ones did. That oil is that spirit of truth. They had their own oil. Now, the wise couldn't share their oil with the foolish ones. So we can't live off of somebody else's work that they've done of seeking and gaining truth of God. We each one have to go individually to God in the Word and seek the instruction of the Holy Spirit and let Him line our spirit with truth, thus purifying it, sanctifying it, setting it apart, preparing it for God to be that temple. So the question is, are you doing that work of abiding in the Bible, letting the Holy Spirit teach you and replace the lies that you believe, the corruption of the world, replace all of that with truth so you really are gaining that mind of Christ. You're gaining that right mindedness, that sound mindedness. And you're dwelling in that truth in your life so that you're prepared when Christ comes. Because you want to be ready. Because if you're not prepared like the foolish ones weren't, then you won't be able to be united to Him. So are you ready? Are you prepared? Have you done that work of abiding in the Word and letting it sanctify you? Until next time, keep stirring the deep. For it's the one thing we do that changes everything else, including preparing us for our bridegroom to come.